For fast, cheap and reliable individual cards from the Adrenal XL World Cup 2018 collection and also discounted products, uh, check out trainingcardcollective.co.uk with the link down below. And if you use the discount code WB10, you'll get 10% off all cards. Hey guys, WB Trading Cards here and welcome back to another Panini Adrenal XL World Cup. 2018 collection video. Um, today we do have the smaller of the two um, collector tins to open and um, yeah as you can see here it does include six packets inside um, plus a limited edition card as well but it does retail at a whopping £9.99 now for just the mini tin. Um, so of course in previous years of Panini I think they've been um, £6 uh, I believe um, around six or seven pounds, and in match tax, they've really been six pounds um, for the last five years or so. However, we have now had a massive price increase on all of the Panini Adrenal XL products, um, apart from a couple in this new collection. Um, so, nine pounds 99 for just six packs, um, and yeah. That's even worse value than the £1.50 packs because if you spent £10 on packs, well, you can't actually spend £10 on packs, but if you spent um, £9 on packs, you would get six packs. Um, whereas this gives you it for £9.99. Um, so you're paying an extra 99p for basically the limited edition card and the tin as well. Um, but really, if you're spending £10, they should give you more cards than you would get. Um, just opening packs in my opinion at least um, you can see the design though on the front we have got the red and gold sign for this year's World Cup and then on the back um, just the usual stuff up there so yeah let's get it open and see what we do have inside alright so um, there is the design of the tin it's actually got a um, hinge on this one which we haven't had before. Um, but inside we do have um, the six packs here and then also the limited edition down there as well. Um, so yeah, just six packs for your 9.99. Let's see what we get though um, in these six. It looks like they're exactly the same as normal ones, yeah they are. Uh, normal ones that you find in your boost boxes, the only difference is they don't have a barcode. Um, it's still the same odds of fans favorites at one in 1.5. You've got these three subsets at one in 3.5. Uh, Game change double troubles and icons at one in five. And top mass and invincibles, one in every 32 packs. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the first pack and see what we can get. Um, so Edinson Cavani is the first player of the opening and then we've got Kombrov as well and Andres Iniesta icon card and that is a really nice pull in the first pack for Spain. And I've also got Diego Godin, Paz Dan and then Sun Yu, uh, Miranchuk and then Poraliganji. Uh, for Iran and Ericsson uh, for Denmark as well. By the way, apologies um, for the pronunciation on some of these names. And yeah, pretty good start in the first pack with Iniesta Icon. Um, let's see what we can get in pack number two. We've got N'Golo Kante, um, the workhorse for France and Chelsea, 84 um, on his control stats. He's got 78 on defence as well. I don't think that, that should be a bit higher. Uh, but we've got David De Gea, goal stopper as well, with 94 on uh, defence. That's a good card. Uh, and Gary Cahill, fans' favourites as well, with 90 on defence. We've got Lindelof, and then John Stones, Felipe Luis, Sakai, um, Brozovic, and then Mile Jedinak to finish that one off. And that takes on to packet number three, which will of course take us halfway through the opening, um, despite the cost of £10. Uh, in this one we do have Jake Livermore, who has actually been named in the most recent England squad. Uh, we've got Paolo Dybala as well, and then Al Salawi uh, for Saudi Arabia fans' favourite card. Trico as well, and then Barakanas, uh, Magnussen... And then Ginter, Brian Ruiz, and Tresgue as well for Egypt. Um, so 
doing all right so far, um, but no amazing cards. Uh, we've got Gabriel Jesus there, Stewani, and then we do have Double Trouble, Griezmann and Giroud. That is a pretty good pull. Um, they've got 98 on attack on the Double Trouble card and 89 on control as well for the French forwards. And we've got Coates as well, Shakiri, Anazi, um, Golovin, and then Eza Tolahi uh, and Jorgensen as well for Denmark. And then into packet number five. And in here we got Kutipov, uh, Emre Chan, and then Kamil Glick, um, fans favourite for Poland. Uh, Dermas as well, Danny Rose, Marquinhos, Morishige, and then uh, Vertonghen and Matthew Ryan as well. And then the final pack of the tin before we have a look at the limited edition card. And in this one, uh, we do have Adam Lallana of England, uh, then Thomas Lamar, Rising Star, uh, Tim Cahill, fans' favourite, um, and Tapia, then Gomez, Bjarnason, Al Jassim, uh, Navas, and Rabio as well for France. And that leaves us with the limitation card, and it is Kevin De Bruyne. That is a really good limitation card to get. 96 on control for the Belgian and 91 on his attack. Um, so yeah, probably worth 99p um, for that one. But still, I think if you're spending £10, then they should make it well worth your money um, rather than arguably ripping you off a bit. And obviously with the price increase as a whole, I think this collection has become really expensive um, compared to collections in the past. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please just smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here for more World Cup content. And of course, I'll see you next time.